Hi friends, welcome to Veena Splurosis. We'll see when Pongal recipe. For that, I have taken 1 cup raw rice, half cup moong dal. To temper, we need chopped ginger, some curry leaves, 1 tablespoon cumin seeds, some peppercorns, cashew nuts, some raisins. First, we will roast raw rice and moong dal together. It gives nice aroma to the pongal. This step is optional. Just roast. Hot to touch. Then we can soak it. We are soaking it for 10 minutes. Heat a cooker. Add some ghee. Add chopped ginger to it. Add some asafoetida. Add 4 cups of water to it. Add salt. And let the water boil. Check for salt. Now itself. Add the rice and dal mixture once it starts boiling. This is how the pongal looks. If you feel it's dry, we can add some hot water to it. I feel it's dry, so I am adding little hot water to the pongal. So that we will get a smooth texture. To temper, heat a pan. Add 2 tablespoon of ghee, add chopped ginger and curry leaves to it, along with it some cashews and raisin. Saute it for few minutes, switch off the flame. I am adding a pinch of turmeric to it. Turmeric gives nice color to our pongal. It's done. Now pour this to pongal. Pongal is ready. We can serve this pongal with coconut chutney or sambar. Now we'll see a quick sambar which we can serve along with this pongal. For that I have chopped white pumpkin and small pumpkin. One eggplant or brinjal, some shallots or small onion peeled. I have taken half cup tur dal, one tablespoon moong dal mixed. Tamarind I have taken this big and soaked in hot water. Then I have taken finely chopped tomatoes, only one tomato I have taken. To, to grind I have taken chana dal, urad dal, fennel seeds, coriander seeds and two red chilies teaspoon fenugreek seeds dry roast everything first i am adding chana dal and urad dal mix roast it until it's golden brown once it's brown add rest of the items except fenugreek seeds fenugreek seeds we have to add at last if it burned the sambar will taste bitter Roast everything until you get nice aroma. Add everything to a smooth paste by adding little water and keep it ready. Now we will cook dal. Wash the dal, add turmeric and little salt and cook in pressure cooker and keep it ready. My cooked dal is ready. In a pan, heat 1 tablespoon oil and add peeled shallots add little salt fry it for few minutes add turmeric then add all vegetables i am adding brinjal last because it takes only few it takes less time to cook cover and cook 
add little water if required so that the vegetables will become soft once it cooked three-fourth we'll add tamarind extract to it let the vegetables cook in the tamarind water add cooked dal along with it add the grounded paste bring everything to boil for 5 minutes after adding dal and grounded paste sambar will start thickening adjust water consistency and add salt if required our sambar is ready to temper heat a pan add 1 tablespoon ghee add mustard seeds let it splutter once it splutter add cho finely chopped tomato to it add salt and turmeric cook it until it's mushy add some curry leaves to it add this to sambar add little asafoetida mix everything well our yummy sambar is ready thanks for watching please do subscribe to veena's blue roses for more videos